Okay guys, how you doing? So tonight um, I'm working with Payne's Gray, uh, Blick Acrylic Fluorescent Violet, mixed two parts paint, I'm sorry, two parts Floetrol to one part paint. I always tend to uh, screw that one up. Um, with a little bit of water, I have my 24K Gold Extreme Sheen by Deco Art that now everybody is using. And I have, um, let me see, what is it? I have Bare Marquee Semi Gloss Enamel in Pure White with two parts flow trawl. And I did a half part of the milk paint and some water. So I got that recipe from Elise Fournier's, um, this is how she mixes her milk paint. So I figured I wanna see, I absolutely love the one that she had posted a while back um, that was reminiscent of a storm or stormy waves. And I wanted to do that, but I want to use my new technique that I've been utilizing with this cute little spreader. So we'll see if it works. I'm not quite sure. I haven't really tried other colors yet um, off from the white that I've been using. And I'm not getting necessarily the same effect because you can't control how the outcome really is for the most part. But I figured I'd put the uh, Payne's Gray down first. Now let me tell you about the Payne's Gray. I <clears throat> This is my favorite Payne's Gray, and uh, it is by Grumbacher, Grumbacher? Oh, I'm probably botching it somehow. And this is a three ounce tube. So what I did was um, I put the whole three ounces split in half between two of these 18 ounce cups. And then I filled to here with Floetrol. So here's the paint down here and up to here with Floetrol. Didn't measure it, but these cups have lines. It is an 18 ounce cup. So um, about one and a half ounces of this heavy bodied acrylic. And I filled the cup up to here with the Floetrol. So um, you see, I'd probably say that was about 13 ounces of Floetrol to one and a half of this, or if we put it in numbers, I would I would say about 26 ounces of Floetrol to one tube of three ounce Payne's Gray, which I think is fantastic. And it mixes smoothly, wonderfully, no complaint there, no clumpiness, nothing. So. With that being said, we are going to uh, start this off and I'm going to start right, oh, I don't know, maybe right here, usually, because I'm right-handed, so I'll be moving this way and not to the left. So I think what we're going to do is put a little bit of the gold down. And I think we're gonna do a little bit of the Payne's Gray. We're just gonna create a puddle on top of a puddle. And I need to put this in a better cup for me to handle. So I'm just gonna put it in here. It has water in there. So let me just do this. My cats are playing in a paper bag, so if you hear bags crackling, you'll know it's my cat named Moo. So next we're gonna do the white milk paint mix. And then we're gonna do the violet. touch of the gold I'm 
We got, we want a good amount of paint on the canvas so that we can move it across plane here. I haven't come up with a name yet for this technique, um, but I will eventually. Some people are dubbing it the, the ninja, oh gosh, now I just forgot, uh, the ninja swipe, which I just think is a little, it's very funny, um, but I don't know if it goes with acrylic pouring very well. <laughs> This is pretty just the way it is. Just right there. <laughs> Should we just leave it? <laughs> All right, so. be a mess. I can tell my paints are a little bit thinner than they've been before. I don't think I need any more gold because that can and will take over if it gets the opportunity. Maybe not working with the Payne's Gray with this is a, probably not a good idea. Let's see. Do a smaller one. Let me get something else actually. Okay, I think that's all I'm going to do because I sort of want to keep some of this. All right. paints may have been too thin but we'll see let's give it a torch and see if anything comes out of this
think it needs a little something else. I'm not sure yet. Okay. settle for now, clean up the edges here, and we'll revisit it. I want just letting it sit for a minute to see uh, if the gold will develop any more. Almost want to stretch it out but I sort of like it don't really like this in here but that can always be touched up later so what I'm going to do I think Almost like a bunny with ears. Just making slight modifications, not really using all that much to do it, but it's bringing more to the canvas. I really like this one and the touch of gold is really more to it. I'm just slowly bringing my stir stick through the current composition just to get some meaningful lines. See now it's starting to speak with speak to me.
Yes, I like this a lot. Very excited about this piece, so we'll we'll bring you in in just a minute. This really came out great. Um, I'm wondering if I'm going to touch up this area right here. Just push it back a bit. <clears throat> Put in a nice gray edging in here to clean it. But let's bring you guys in. You can make those decisions after. I'll do one more torch. Here it is. Oh, I think it's beautiful. This is this is stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm so excited. I can't wait for this to dry. I hope it dries kindly. <laughs> I love how this is like almost sheer. So I'm really happy guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I did some detail work with it, just a little bit to play with it. So I, I hope it didn't bore you, um, but here you are. Not quite sure what we're gonna name it, but I'll throw it up on uh, Go Make Some Art with uh, Gina DeLuca's Facebook page and see what everybody likes. Thanks so much for all the love, the support, uh, all your kind words. I try to answer as many questions as I can. I know a couple of people have asked um, about varnishing or resining. I have only resined once, so I'm not exactly sure if I'm even doing it correctly, <laughs> but I will uh, see what I can do and we'll uh, talk about varnishes in a day or two. Have a great day. Bye for now.